Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about call by reference in Java. Call by reference is where whenever we call a method and pass some parameters to it, then the reference of the actual parameter is passed. So any changes made at the formal parameter will be reflected back to the actual parameter. By default, Java follows call by value, but if we use array or collection or the object as method parameter then we can achieve call by reference in java like an example if we have one method called m1 and it is taking one integer array then whenever we calling the method m1 and passing one array then the reference of the array is passed to the formal parameter and any changes we made at the formal parameter will be reflected back to the actual parameter Similarly also we can use collection or objects as method parameter and we can achieve call by reference in Java. In this example program we try to understand the concept of call by reference where we are going to pass array as method parameter. So first we have the class called test and inside the class we have two methods one is called change which is taking array as parameter and it will add one to all the elements of the array and another method is called display array which is taking one array as parameter and it will display all the elements of the array onto the console now inside the main method i'm going to create one integer array called my array and i'm going to initialize the array with the elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 then i'm going to create one object of the test class t1 so i'm going to write test t1 equal new test now I'm going to use the t1 object and call the display array method and I'm going to pass the array my array as a parameter and then I'm going to call the change method and I'm going to pass the array as a parameter then again I'm going to call the display array method and pass the array so inside the main method first we have created one integer array called my array which has the elements 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and then we have called the display array method and it will display the elements of the my array onto the console and then we have called the change method and passed the array as a parameter and it's supposed to increase all the elements of the array by 1 and then again we have called the display array method and try to see if there is any change reflected back to the actual parameter or not so now I'm going to save the program. So now I'm going to compile and run the program. So you can see the output. First we have the initial array elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And after the increment, we have the elements 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because whenever we pass the array as method argument, the reference of the array is passed. So any changes we made here will be reflected back to the actual array and that is exactly what is happening here that's how we are having the change reflected back to the actual array and this is how we can use the array to have call by reference in java so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you